Viewer from Pelican Rapids wants to know, what is the panel opinion of Minnesota Lottery with online gambling and proposal to buy lottery tickets at gas pumps? Uh, changes in the gambling uh, legislation. Representative Slavinsky? Sure. sure, Barry. You know, I've heard a lot from a, a lot of my gas station owners uh, in, in my district. They're very concerned with the, especially the pay at the pump. And, you know, if you're, you're selling gas and, and you've seen that you, if you're buying gas and filling up and going on vacation for Easter, you know, that's a very fluctuating price. And, and mostly people aren't keeping their lights on as a gas station owner by selling gas. It's what they're doing inside the building. They're selling pop, they're selling groceries, they're selling this and that coffee. And lotto tickets are part of that. And I, from what I've heard, a lot of the folks are very concerned about what that means uh, to bring people in the store uh, and, and, and kind of helping those businesses make it and thrive. And, uh, you know, you... You know, you add that, and you know, I think, you know, I'm, I'm very concerned. Uh, we, there was a, a commerce committee uh, this morning talked about a little bit about trying to address some of those issues, um, and you know, it's it's definitely a concern. And but you know, at the bottom line, you know, there's already been contracts written. Uh, it's going to cost, uh, I think, eight million dollars uh, if we were to repeal some of that. And so those are real decisions we have to make as a legislature. You know, we give some uh, some levity to the to, to the lotto folks, but uh, you know, maybe it's time to pull some reins back on them a little bit. And, and get it under control. There was a, a bill in the Commerce Committee, I think, to go and ban the online sale of lottery tickets, and um, it's something we're, we will be talking about. I guess I don't know enough, I just haven't researched it, to understand what legal authority the state lottery has to actually in, conduct this mm -hmm. type of, mm -hmm. of sale. Um, in most instances, I know as representative, or excuse me, I keep calling you representative, we want you back in the House. <laughs> <laughs> but some uh, days, but you, you can't mention that no, name. We, 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 name. I think, as, I, I think you're the only attorney on the, the panel here, but it's my understanding yeah. with most things, unless the legislature explicitly authorizes an entity or a, a unit of government to do something, they can't do it. So I think we have to go back and review what the authorizing language would be for the state lottery and just what the bounds under which they operate. Right. And, and I think they're, they're taking the liberty, and, and, and it's argumental. It, it may be able to be argued that they have the authority. You know, the, the thing that's probably driving it is some consumers, and you talked about consumers earlier, the, you know, the technology is there, but is there a way to uh, structure that uh, uh, so the retailers uh, aren't just used uh, when, when they're convenient and then thrown away when they find a different way uh, for the state to to uh, dispense them because um, it, it is an issue. They have a lot of uh, investment into uh, selling lottery tickets and the, giving uh, the state uh, store space. And so so it's kind of an issue, and, and it's a balancing act like we deal with, with a lot of issues. It, you're, do, you're right. Balance it's a total balancing act. I mean, you know, you can't. We have a problem with credit card use in, in the United mm -hmm. States that, that created some real issues, and, and that's why when the Bankruptcy Reform Act uh, happened a few years ago, you know, they made folks, uh, if they're going to file bankruptcy, they were supposed to go through credit counseling agencies, which there are legit credit counseling agencies in the state of Minnesota. There are 23 licensed debt prorators right in the state of Minnesota. Then you're going to start seeing an increase. The thing, The other thing is, Credit cards can't be used to uh, purchase lottery tickets right now. So if I'm at the pump and I mm -hmm. and I put my piece in it, who's going to regulate? Who's going to you know? There's going right. to be some issues there. <laughs> and, right? and is it a good policy to be promoting yeah. people to be buying lottery tickets with credit cards? I don't, Here's the question: I don't understand, <laughs> and I don't buy lottery tickets. And and you know, for some people, they, they I think they you know get the the tactile feel of it. It's you know, it's, it's kind of fun. But what is the the real experience of buying a lottery ticket online? I I just I mean. I just don't understand it. Well, we'll leave the we'll leave the lottery. Everybody's going out. Of uh, apparently, we're not funding the lottery with, with the supplier. Before you here, anyway. So.